Hey, what's up guys? How is it going? So uh, today I'm going to tell you one interesting story. It was year uh, 2005 and our protagonist Horish was working in one of the top Indian MNCs and he was reporting uh, to Jyoti and Jyoti uh, was his uh, manager. And uh, they, Jyoti is to manage a big team of uh, 30 engineers. So what they do, they work on Symbian platform and it's a that time it was a popular mobile operating system uh, nokia was using it and uh, they what did they what, what do they do they train engineers on that platform then uh, these engineers uh, they develop some application mobile application some small basic application and once they learn some uh, skill sets once they gain enough knowledge about the platform they are sent to uh, us and europe opportunities all on site opportunities and it's, so it's a launch pad for uh, on site opportunities. And uh, that time uh, in year 2005, there was a big craze about on site opportunities. Not only uh, that, uh, 2005, now also uh, there are a lot of interest, uh, people want to go on site. But uh, in 2005, there were not many uh, broad based companies. A SAPIS company, they used to uh, pay less. So uh, people, uh, those who are working in service-based company, so they wanted to go on set opportunities so that they can make more money, they can earn more money. So suppose, for example, if a junior engineer or maybe mid-level engineer, they're earning 25,000 or 30,000 per month in hand, they're getting. So if they go on site, they can make 1 lakh, 1 1.5 lakh, and especially uh, European countries, they can make uh, more money. Mm -hmm. So one benefit is financial advantage. Second benefit is you go on site and then you will learn what client is using, what kind of technology they are using, what kind of best practices they are following, uh, what kind of tools and technologies they are using. So you get to learn a lot uh, once you go and work in uh, different locations, different clients location. And third of, of, uh, advantage is if it is a long term opportunity, then you get to travel with your family, all the uh, costs are borne by a uh, company. I mean, travel cost, uh, uh, flight ticket, and etc. So now back to the story. So uh, one batch was sent to US, and Horis was not selected uh, for that. So uh, he he desperately wanted to go on site, and he was very upset. And every then what he did every Friday, he started asking uh, his manager, uh, Jyoti, do you have any on site opening for me? And every Friday, like ritually, he will go to Jyoti's cubicle and he will ask that same question. So one day Jyoti was really irritated. She got really frustrated. She said, why are you asking me same question and again, again, every week you are asking same question. Why are you bugging me? I told you clearly that there are no answer opportunities now. If anything comes up, I will let you know. Hori smiled sheepishly and he went back to his cubicle. Fortunately, after a couple of weeks, uh, one big project came from Helsinki. And Horis was uh, shortlisted for that um, project, and finally he went to Helsinki uh, on site. So, what we learn from this story? We learn from this story is that if you want something, you have to ask. If you don't ask, you won't get it, right? And you have to ask gracefully. Means you should not think that it's your entitlement, you deserve it, or something like that. You ask gracefully because the way you make request that matters a lot. For example, in this story. Uh, Horish was asking repeatedly, but when he got scolded, uh, he uh, smiled back and ran back to his cubicle. He didn't get angry or something like that. So, and he always used to smile and ask, uh, Jyoti, do you have any on site opportunity for me like that? He used to always smile and ask. Uh, so, the way you are making request, it matters a lot. So, and second thing is, you have to be persistent. Why persistent? Because Managers, they may have so many other things they may forget, right? Maybe you have asked something six months back, they may have forgotten now, right? They may think your requirement also change. Maybe you don't want to pursue on such opportunities because of some other things that may also they may assume because you have asked one year back or six months back. They may think your priorities might have changed. So you have to keep asking so that you are the in the mind space of those who are decision maker, those who are going to take decisions to send you on site, you have to be in the mind space, you have to be on their radar 
so that when the opportunity comes up first thing they will think about you and uh, you will be able to uh, get that opportunity and third thing is don't discourage by no if there are 100 no's also it's fine because it's only one yes matters and one yes means you get that opportunity right so uh, don't discourage by no if it is 100 no's also it's fine so if you have enjoyed this story please like it subscribe my channel and don't forget to check out uh, many such interest, interesting stories on my channel. So for now, this is Abhijit signing off.